Hello, I am Baron Dipitus, and welcome to uh, another video from the for the Epic Games Library. This is a Game of Thrones, the board game. Uh, so, uh, normally I personally avoid Game of Thrones stuff because, um, as much as I love fantasy and uh, you know the the kind of the the genre that Game of Thrones is in, as much as I enjoy that in general. Um, <clears throat> There's there's a bit too much um, well there's there's a bit too much adult themes for my taste in Game of Thrones uh, to be honest uh, the book or the TV show um, so I, I mean that's just my own uh, personal taste and everything I personally would rather watch Lord of the Rings but um, I came but uh, I added this to my uh, Epic Games library because I mean number one it's free number two it seems to it seems like this uh, I noticed that the rating for this game seems to be more like rated like T or like Peggy 12 or something. So which tells me that those more adult themes are probably not in here. And three, this is a board game. This is not a like, you know, like a normal action exploration RPG. This is a digital version of a board game. And I am a, I'm a fan of board games. I'm willing to try this out. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't, I don't think I'll stick with this, but I do, I do like playing board games digitally. So, I'm curious to see. Um, I will say I also admire the the deep world building of Game of Thrones as well. So we'll see we'll see how this goes. Um, go through some tutorial stuff. Defend the coast. Welcome to Rest Westeros. In this mission, you will take on the role of House Stark, one of six great houses seeking dominance over the lands of Westeros. Planning phase. Okay, each game has three phases. Westeros phase, planning phase, and action phase. Players react to events, players secretly assign orders, and players take turns resolving orders. Okay, this this kind of sounds a bit like um, diplomacy. Um, a little bit. After ten rounds, the player who controls the most uh, castles wins. In the planning phase, players must assign orders to each area while, where they have a unit. Assign march orders to your units in Winterfell. Uh, march order. Okay. Action phase. In the action phase, each player resolves the orders they assign. Okay, yeah, so everyone assigns their orders and then they resolve those orders. Okay. A single march order allows you to move any number of units from that area into adjacent areas. Okay, just like risk or... Um, diplomacy. Select Winterfell to resolve your march order. Uh, move one of your units into White Harbor and the other to Moat Cal Moat uh, Moat Kalen to take two castles. So White Harbor, all right, and here. Confirm march. Because Winterfell is your home, you maintain control even if you have no units there, as long as it isn't occupied by enemies. Well, that's where the danger is, isn't it? <laughs> the castle symbol refers to both castles and strongholds. If a player controls seven castles, they win immediately without needing to wait for the end of the tenth round. House Greyjoy is marching... okay. Westeros phase. At the start of a round, Westeros cards are drawn that affect all players. This phase is skipped in the first round. I see. Okay. Okay, mustering. Recruit new units in strongholds and castles. The mustering card lets players add new units to st castles and strongholds they control. Castles provide one point of mustering. Select castles in White Harbor. Um, muster units. All right. And then, yeah, this. Footmen are useful for exp expanding your land empire. Strongholds provide two units of mustering. Cool. Uh, so, okay, so a footman is one point, and a knight, it looks, looks like that's two points. And, of course, that's covering. I'm so sorry, guys. All right. Here we go. Knights are twice as powerful as footmen in battle. All right. Uh, next, last days of summer, nothing happens. Um, enjoy this rare moment of rest. <laughs> okay. That must mean 
You know what? If it's the last days of summer, that must mean winter is coming. <laughs> Brace yourselves. <laughs> Sir Roderick Castle. A raven arrived with news that Greyjoy's pirates have been attacking in the south. March your troops to the coast to defeat the sea scum. Okay, so this is where we're placing our orders. Um... Consolidate power. You have unlocked the Consolidate Power Order. Uh, the crown symbol represents power. Each player begins the game with five crown and can increase their crowns by resol their power by resolving Consolidate Power Orders. Power is used to keep control of areas your units abandon, uh, bid on influence tracks, and fend off wildling attacks. It may mount over in order to review its abilities. Gain one power if this area is in land or in a port. Okay. Um, consolidate power. Alright. In turn order, players take turns resolving a march order of their choice. March one of your units from White, White Harbor to... So it can join other forces. Alright. And move over here. Okay. Confirm. Time to show those salty scoundrels what the North is made of. When marching, you're not allowed to move into more than one area that would start a battle. Okay, march all three units to Greywater March to start a battle. Okay. Uh, do I have to Let's see? Oh, um, here we go. Greywater March. Here we go. Confirm march. Spending one power will allow you to keep control of, of Moat Kaelin as long as enemy units are not there. Okay, yeah. Alright. Combat. Combat is resolved by comparing the strength of the battling sides. Each footman adds one to his owner's total strength. Each player may then play a house card to add to their side's strength. Great John Umber. What does this mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Your opponent played Dagmar Clef Clefjaw, bringing the strength of their side to three. You want you win the battle with a higher strength of five. After a battle, the losing side suffers casualties equal to the number of swords played by the winning side. However, Dagmar Clefjaw's fortification lets your opponent ignore one casualty. Okay. So they didn't lose anything, but they, well, they didn't lose any units, but they lost the land. Since the Greyjoy footmen were not killed in battle, they must retreat to an adjacent area as rooted units. Routed units. Routed units can't march and contribute no, and contribute no strength in combat. If a routed unit is defeated in another combat, it is destroyed. They become unrouted at the end of a round. Got it. Okay. Westeros events. Adjust supply track, reconcile armies. When the supply track card is drawn, uh, each player updates their supply unit limits to equal the number of barrel in areas they control. So it looks like I have two. Supplies determine the number of areas players may have with two or more units. Areas with a single unit do not require supply. Oh, you need supplies to have areas with more than one unit. Okay. Your current supply limits are displayed as dots next to the helmets by your supply barrel. Okay. The yellow dots show which of your supplies are in use. I see. So I have two, and two of these dots are grayed out. Okay. If a player has lost territory since the last supply card is shown, they they may have to remove units to confirm with their new supplies. You can review the supply limits associated by selecting that this on your banner. So I have two, and I guess the opponent has three. Game of Thrones. Each player collects one power for each power icon in each area he controls and each controlled port. Um, yeah. And then, last day of the summer, nothing happens. Uh, take two more castle from the Greyjoys to complete this scenario. Your men await their next orders. Time to go on the offensive. Okay. So... Alright. 
So it looks like the Greyjoys currently have uh, this area. Uh, it looks like is Pike their capital, maybe? Or they're, they're getting power and supplies from it. Um, there's also Sea Guard and River Run. I guess there's also something down here as well, but. Um, okay. Let's. Um, hmm. Do they have a knight? Uh, oh gosh, they have a knight and two foot soldiers here. That's not great. Where do where do I want to go? Is this a that's a knight. Okay. Hmm. That's a okay. Oh gosh, I've always been pretty bad at Risk, uh, the the board game Risk. Let's see here. So yeah, this is this is a bit of a problem right here. Um, you know what? I will move the. Let's see. I'll move. I'll move them. Um, consolidate power and march. All right, so you are going. What the? Um, you'll go here. And you, oh, I need to confirm that one first, huh? Okay. Okay, good. I was a little worried that I would like lose um, the, can I not move you over here? Or is that a, Oh, they're not connected. Okay. Yeah, I can't move them here, but I can move them here. <laughs> okay, recruit new units in strongholds and castles. Oh, I can upgrade footmen to knights. Oh, that's really good. Knights count as one unit toward your supply units, even though they are twice as powerful in combat as footmen. That's really good. Um, why can I not do that here? Fine. Okay, I'll do that. Add a footman. Add a knight. Bid on the three influence tracks. When Clash of Kings is drawn, players bid power in the, on the three influence tracks. Today, we'll bid only on the war-focused fiefdom track, which determines tiebreakers in combat. Each player chooses to bid a number of power, which will be spent whether or not they end up with the highest bidder. Players are then ordered from highest to lowest bidder. Let's go all in with all of our power to see if we can beat the Greyjoys with the top slot of the fiefdom track. Alright. Alright, and they bid four. House Stark now can grant plus one strength in combat once per round. And then last day of the summer. You beat the Greyjoy's bit of four to earn first place in the fiefdom track, gaining, uh, gaining the first player bonus of the Valyrian Steel Blade. Once per round, the Valyrian Steel Blade can be used to increase your combat strength by one after house cards have been revealed. <coughs> A new order. The support order allows units in this area to add their strength in combat in any adjacent battle. Support can be key to winning your conflicts and also be used to aid allies. Okay, cool. Um, you know what? Let's take care of this unit, of this down here. Um, let's consolidate power here. Move you and move you. Because I'm not worried at all about these more northern areas. These are basically mine. Uh, I guess I could also take over these higher ones up here. I guess those are technically, you know what? I may as well do that now. Um, 
first of all, I will move this. Oh, I can't. Hmm, okay. I guess I'll move them up here so I can get more stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, let's, uh... We only need, we only need one of these guys. Okay. We don't need to go to oh, we don't need to go overkill here necessarily. Zero. Not sure what the use of that card is, but um Let's see, just to be safe we'll go with this guy. Alright. Excellent. They've been routed. Nothing happens. Uh, we col uh, collect one power for each uh, area I control in, and nothing happens. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. I could... I didn't have any power to keep control over these areas. I'm dumb. Okay, well. Uh, all right. That's fine. March, uh, March. And March. Consolidate power. I think that's everything. Oh wait, no. Um, consolidate power, yeah. I spent all those power points earlier. I totally, anyway. Okay, so. Um, I want you to march here. Spend one point to keep that. Spend one point to keep that. Excellent. Um, we're gonna go, oh, I, can I not go down there? Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Confirm march. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay, good. We're good. Marvelous. Adjust supply track, reconcile armies. Nothing happens. Yeah, so I got more, so because I got more, like, supply areas, now my max, now my maximum has increased to four. That's good. Okay, um, I need to, I only need to get one more castle, actually, so I guess my aim, my, my goal would be over here, I suppose. So, Uh, power, power. Can't move over there. Darn it. Actually, yeah, I can just do this. Right? Yeah. If I win this, then I win the scenario. Okay, so we're tied right now, so I'm gonna play a pretty powerful card for this. Darn it! Ah, uh, Oh, that sucks. Um... Does this help me at all, or do defenders win? Oh my gosh. Wow, that really came in clutch, didn't it? Fine work, my lord. A feast is in order. Okay, that was one of the tutorial levels. <laughs> okay, um, Siege of Pike. Uh, fun fact, Pike is one of my favorite characters to play in League of Legends. I don't really play League of Legends that much anymore, but um, Pike and Sona are among my favorite characters. 
Okay. The Greyjoys have declared open rebellion against the Seven Kingdoms. You have orders from the King to muster ships and set sail for Pike to defeat their leader, Lord Balon. Unlocked a special version of Consolidate Power with a star icon. Allows you to muster in this location instead of, take, of taking power. Assign your Consolidate Power order to Winterfell to start assembling your fleet of ships. And they are marching from Sunset Sea. Okay. Alright, do you want to consolidate power or muster at Winterfell? They're telling me to muster. What to muster? A ship. Alright. Um, Bay of Ice. And a ship out here. Okay. Last days of summer, um, power, and last days of summer. Assign march orders to Bay of Ice and Winterfell to continue your march towards Pike, the home of Balan's Rebellion. Okay. March a single footman from Winterfell to Flint's Finger use, uh, using your ships as a sea bridge. Ships may be used to transport units to other land areas. Interesting. I can just take them over here. Play your Roos Bolton, uh, Roos Bolton card to deal with this, this small band of pirates. And down they go. Sail your ships to Sunset Sea. Down here, okay. Alright. Recruit new units and strongholds and castles. Recruit your footmen in... Let's see. Uh, upgrade into Knight. Upgrade into Knight. You also need to continue growing your fleet. Bid on the three influence tracks. The Clash of Kings has been drawn. This time we will bid on the Iron Throne influence track in addition to the Fiefdom track. Position on the Iron Throne track determines the order in which players resolve actions. The player at the top of the track also gains the Iron Throne ability, breaking all ties outside of combat. Let's bid three power so that we still have enough left to place competitive bid on the Fiefdom track too. Wow, you're using all of your power across all of the different um, tracks. Interesting. All right, excellent. So we won that one. You bid more than the Greyjoys, for earning first spot in the Iron Throne track. Um, because the Greyjoys only have three, we should be able to win the Iron Throne tie-breaking ability. We should be able to win with the Iron Throne tie-breaking ability if we bid three. Yeah, there we go. Because we have the Iron Throne, we beat we beat the tie. We win the tie. You did it. The Iron Throne's tie-breaking ability lets you beat the Greyjoys to earn first place in the Fiefdom Thief from track, gaining the first player ability of the Valyrian Steel Blade. And last day of the summer. Defense orders. Increase the strength of their area when attacked. Raid orders. Remove enemy support orders, consolidate power orders, or even other raid orders. Interesting. Assign defense order to Flint's Finger to protect them. Okay. Assign a raid order to your ships to disrupt the enemy. Consolidate power. Finally, support order to protect your adjacent areas. Honestly, as far, so I, I played a, I played several, I played a number of uh, digital board games, and I will say that as in turn, as as far as uh, tu tutorials go, this is honestly really good. Um, this is. Uh, this is definitely up to a, this is a definitely a great standard to have for uh, digital board game tutorials or like like strategy like um, uh, like army strategy you know uh, like army war game strategy tutorials because clearly this game has a lot of like moving parts but I like the I, I really appreciate when it uh, when they just kind of give you a few pieces at a time. 
Rage of the first order should be resolved in the action phase, followed by marches and consolidate power. Defense and support orders are resolved during combat. Oh yeah, another thing about digital board games too is that um, even though I, I I do enjoy my share of complex board games, I have a few of them, like f physical complex board games like Bloomhaven or uh, House of or uh, Mansion of Madness. Um, digital versions of these games are really great because they basically keep track of things for you, um, which. Uh, Far fewer misplays, which I really appreciate. Um, so even though it is digital, it's not the same. But you know, there's there's the benefit of having you know some of the, some of the cool bells and whistles of animation and whatever. But also and music, but also just ha having the computer take off the burden of remembering all the rules. <laughs> they can they can uh, remember most of them uh, there, which I appreciate. It's how I was it's how I was able to actually learn Gloomhaven. I played the digital version of Gloomhaven first. And then that's how I was able to understand how Gloomhaven works. Sea areas are especially useful for supporting and raiding. They can support and raid land areas. Land areas can't support or raid sea areas. Because you're high on the Iron Throne track, you get to raid first. Uh, raid order to remove the support in Iron Iron Man's Bay. To prevent enemy ships from supporting an area in adjacent... Okay. Your opponent is now left with no adjacent orders to raid. He's, has Greyjoy selecting a raid order? Blah, 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 blah. They're, they're resolving all their things. Ah, laughable. Okay, so this is. I see. Um, so, um, right, because they they're not able to get support from um, from this area, right? Yeah, they just have this. They're not able to get support from from here. Your initial strength is four, and uh, and defense order and all that. Caitlyn Stark is best used when defending. Oh, I see. Okay, that's that's why that card is useful. We didn't have her her ability last time because we didn't have defense. Yeah. Flint's finger will not fall today. You break the tie because of your higher placement in the fiefdom influence track. Your opponent's footman must retreat back routed. I see. Um, ooh, a siege engine. Siege, uh, siege weapons are fun. Four strength when attacking or supporting That's, uh, against a, a stronghold specifically. The downside is that they provide no strength while attacking an area without... A castle. They're also useless on the defense. That makes sense. Uh, supply track. Uh, get power and lactate the summer. The king has ordered that you lay siege to pike this round. His master, his master of ships, will place your orders for you during the planning phase. But it's up to you how to resolve them. Okay, so in this scenario, they've given us the orders. Moving an enemy consolidate power order with a raid allows you to pillage, stealing one uh, power from that player. Your men have their orders, sir, but they will need your expert guidance for where and when to march. Once you take Iron Man's Bay with your ships, you should be able to transport your siege engine and two knights to attack Pike. Defeat Lord Balin and Pike this round. Okay, once you take Iron Man's Bay with your ships, you should be able to transport your siege engine and two knights to attack Pike. Okay. Okay. Combat. Uh, let's see here. I still need to attack Pike, so I think I'll do this for now. Marvelous. Iron Man's Bay is ours. Because Pike is inside there.
Wait, am I not able to... I'll start with this, actually. Hold on. Defeat Lord Balan and Pike this round. That's seven. What? What? Maybe I missed something. Because I can only do this. Might be missing something here. I don't think I can win this. I think I probably made a mistake. What was I supposed to do exactly? Okay, so they took me back to here. I heard you stirring in your sleep. Men have been known to have nightmares about the battle ahead. <laughs> so we just went back. Okay. Attack Iron Man's Bay with your ships to make a path to Pike. Resolving your march order in Winterfell before... Resolving your march order in Winterfell before Greywater March would allow you to get a siege engine in two nights all the way to Pike this round. Wait. Oh, oh, I see. I think, oh, okay. I was supposed to attack Greywater March to allow me to, okay. You just can move more than once a turn as long as you move them into a space with one of your other March orders. Okay. So I can attack Greywater March. Right? Is that what they're trying to say? Alright, so I got this. Excellent. Am I not supposed to... Okay. Maybe I haven't... <laughs> okay. Attack Iron Man's Bay with your ships to make a path to Pike. Resolving in Winterfell before Greywater March. Okay. Let's try this. All right, okay. I guess I should have done this first. So apparently that means I have a path to Pike now, right? Why am I... What? Because I'm not able to... I 
Oh. I can move them here because there's still a march order there. Hello? I'm confused. Move here. Yeah. There's still a march order there. Okay, alright, alright. We got... <laughs> okay, we... Sorry about that. We figured it out. We're good. Oh, yeah. We're winning this. Base combat strength of your opponent's house card is reduced to zero. That's rude. Fiefdom tiebreaker. We win! The Greyjoy's fleet is yours. When you defeat an area with a port, you gain control of all ships in that area. Lord Balin has bent the knee to the king, and you will take his son, Theon Greyjoy, as a ward to ensure the truce. Well done. The crown will be pleased. Marvelous. Okay, we'll complete the tutorial and uh, call it good, I think. Hold the wall. Practice advanced orders while helping the Night's Watch repel a wildling attack. Oh dear. Winter is coming, <laughs> and a growing army of wildling barbarians threaten our lands in the north. Increase your power so you can help the, help the Night's Watch repel the wildling attack when it comes. Contract the wildling strength above. They uh, attack when their strength reaches 12, or a wildling attack card is drawn in the Westeros phase. Okay. All orders are unlocked. Star orders offer additional abilities and bonuses, but are limited by your position in the King's Court track. Once you, Because you start in position 2, you may assign 2 star orders per round. Assign your orders now to grow your kingdom and collect power to help defeat the wildling attack when it comes. Defend a wildly attack, control three castles. So we want to like keep our power here at the top. Oh no, it does nothing for a sea area, okay. I guess. Let's, let's try that. These kind of war games are not always my strong suit, but, you know, they're, they're kind of fun. There's a lot going on down there. Oh, dear. Um, so I'll muster here and then consolidate elsewhere. Supply track. The wildlings are moving toward the wall. Each time a wildling icon is drawn in the Westeros phase, their forces are increased by two. When they reach 12, they will launch an attack that can only be stopped by bidding that much power. Ah. So this time we're going to bid on all three influence tracks. The first is the Iron Throne. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. I'm gonna play it safe. Okay. These players position on King's Court track determines the number of star orders available to them during the planning phase. The player at the top of the track gains the Messenger Raven ability. At the end of planning, they choose between two actions. Swap one of their orders in the map with one of their unassigned orders. Look at the next Wildling card and put it on top or bottom of the deck. Gosh dang it. Alright. Can't place defense orders. You're now playing with a full version of all three Westeros decks. Each deck has its own set of ten cards. The third deck includes conditions that limit the available orders and a card that triggers an early wildling attack. That's not great. Let's remove enemy defense orders. Okay. Our list of enemies keeps going. House Lannister and House Baratheon may help file the may help fight the wildling, but they certainly aren't our friends. Oh well. Okay. Oh boy. Excellent. Raid orders cannot be played during this phase. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about that. This might be a stupid idea. We'll see. Oh. We have up to four. Two, two. I guess it's really only one place they can go. Ooh, adjacent to a neutral force. They're defeated by matching or exceeding their strength of your marching army. Can't play house cards. At okay.
All right, so I want to move this guy over here. So I have all those things. Yeah, I should have a I should get another ship. All right. All right. Excellent. The wildlings attack Westeros. If attacked, the more you contribute, the more likely we are to succeed. If the combined power contributed by each player equal to exceed the wildlings' strength, they will be defeated. If the wildlings win, players, especially the lowest bidder, will often receive a punishment determined by a wildling card. If they're defeated, the highest bidder will receive a reward for their effort. You know what? We're bring it all in. One position on the supply track. The north is safe thanks to your heroic efforts. For now. So now I just need to get one of these things. And support. And consolidate power. Because I think I think I'm gonna get that that weakest um, fortification over there. Okay, yeah, this one right here, right here, and that should win us the scenario. Support. Yep. Yeah, you do not stand a chance. Just because I can. Awesome. There we go. And I won. The, and I won the. I won all the tutorial things. Um. No thanks. So it looks like we have challenges now, but I think I. I think I'm good to. Go. Let's see. These are. Okay. So these are like you know, uh, more like sort of single player sorts of things. And there's a lobby and everything, so you can play with other people. Uh, yeah, okay, and I th I'm gonna end it here, actually. I'm gonna, I'm going for about, uh, going for 48 minutes. Uh, okay, so that's a Game of Thrones board game. Uh, I, it's, the, it's a, it's a cool, it's a cool game. I enjoy it a lot more than Risk, honestly. Uh, there's, there's a lot more going on, but it's, it's cool. Uh, if I, if I had a physical version of this game, I'd probably play it once or twice, maybe. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it, but, you know, it, but it's it's good it uh, i i like i like the way it's i like the way everything's uh laid out and the presentation is really nice and everything i don't really have plans to play this much again because it's i mean it's basically it's a board game i don't have i don't have plans to do any of the challenges or anything like that but i'm glad i tried it out uh, i always i always enjoyed trying out different uh board games physical or digital so but yeah there we go um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, all the best.